Authorities of Nigeria's anti-graft agency, EFCC, have reasserted the urgent need to create specialized courts dedicated to addressing economic and financial crimes. This came out in a recent engagement between officials from EFCC and the media in Kaduna, where they highlighted the challenges they face while prosecuting these complex cases. Our correspondent Lupe Assom reports. This engagement marks a bold step in fostering collaborations between the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the media. During discussions, the challenges that the EFCC currently encounter in prosecuting economic and financial crimes was the main focus. The urgent need for the establishment of special courts dedicated to handling corruption cases was stressed. The EFCC authorities believe such courts will greatly expedite the prosecution process, handle complex cases promptly, contributing to a more efficient justice system. We appreciate the fact that yes, this environment, in terms of prosecuting corruption cases, comes with a lot of challenges. You can have a case that can that drag on in court for more than 10 years. There are cases that we have currently in court that have been in court for more than 12 years, and that is not because the Commission does not have the will to prosecute, but because of the challenges that we have in the judicial setup. Some corrupt elements, and when you charge them to court, they are not there to get justice. They are there to delay the process to ensure that they frustrate you as much as possible. Premature termination of cases. For example, cases that have gone on for several years and you see them being thrown away on technical grounds. He mentioned the case of Hodges of Cali, for instance, which went from trial court up to the Supreme Court and back. And the Supreme Court gave a, gave a ruling that the judgment of the lower court that the judge aired in war because at the time he delivered that judgment, he had been promoted to the court of appeal. So the Supreme Court was not looking at the merit of the case. They were not looking at the charges that were filed. It was just on the technical ground that, look, by the time this judge gave that judgment, he was no longer a judge of the Federal High Court. Rather, he was a judge of the court of appeal. Based on that, that case was struck out. Recently, also, you look at the case of Suli Lamido that was struck out by the Court of Appeal in Abuja. That case was struck out not because the EFCC did not have a strong case against Suley Ramidu. The judgment of the Court of Appeal was that we ought to have fired that case in Jigawa instead of Abuja. And that is on technical ground. The EFCC also decried the rising cases of internet-related crimes, which they say is a smear on the nation's image. As conversations continue, both the authorities and the media are looking forward to the potential positive impact such an initiative could have on Nigeria's fight against economic and financial crimes. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.